Breaking now from Fox 17 News. We continue to follow that breaking news out of Midland where businesses and homes are flooded following dam failures yesterday. Yeah, this is some drone video from a professional photographer in the area showing M20 and Isabella Street near downtown Midland. And as you can see, that water really almost coming up to the roofs there. Our Julie Dunmire joins us live with another report. Julie. Derek and Annie, the Titabawassee River is swallowing up much of Midland and so many people have been displaced from their homes. We're told as many as 500 people are staying in area shelters right now, and this is all happening because of dams breached just north of here, unable to hold water from a breached dam. They've sent all that water from Wixom Lake down here into Midland, tens of thousands of people asked to evacuate overnight. The water is expected to keep rising. Midland sprang into action and multiple shelters are opening at local high schools for those who cannot get to their homes or have lost their homes entirely. We spoke to the superintendent of Bullet Creek High School who tells us this is what this community is all about. With communication with our uh, law enforcement center and our um, emergency manager, we just had discussion about having this be a, a safe site for people to travel to. And, and uh, so it was communicated through um, uh, messages that were sent out to cell phones and, and folks knew that uh, uh, we were a site. And once we had everything opened up, folks started to come over and, and um, many stayed um, for the night, some in their vehicles, some came in and, and stayed in our gymnasium and slept on cots incredible and there's no telling when those people will be able to of course return home as the water is expected to continue to rise here in Midland at least well into this evening. We'll of course continue to update you as we learn more. Reporting live in Midland, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.